What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about which type of silver will make the best investment. And my answer to that is it really depends on your timeline of when you're going to sell your investment to realize the investment, that is. Because it all really depends on when you're actually going to sell. The basic types of silver you're going to run into are your basic generic rounds, your junk silver, or constitutional silver, your government bullion from different countries, your semi numismatics, that have uh, lower mintages than their regular counterparts and your graded versions, varieties. Now, depending on when you intend to sell, that's going to depend on what makes the better investment. If you're looking to make a quick profit, then the choices would be your more newer issues. Ones like the Goddesses of Olympus, the Privateers, the Coins and Chronicles set, like this right here is a uh, Kennedy set, and then sell those right away. If you're looking for medium term, you're intending on selling a year from now, then your best bet would probably be to look at the semi-numismatics. These generally are a single year issue. In this particular case, this is a goat privy and the mintage on this is 50,000 whereas the kookaburra for this year is 50,000 or 500,000 excuse me as opposed to say like a generic round bullion this is a Scottsdale stacker which just follows spot this is gonna be the slowest in appreciation actually it's not going to be the slowest because, like I said, it follows spot. So that means this one, you're not really as, gonna, as certain. The, these are the ones that can drop in value the most. While the semi numismatics, like these, like the Kookaburra, like the Koala with a Privy, will hold their value. And a mouse, 2 ounce mouse proof. There's also two other two ounce mouse reverse proof. Now the slowest ones, the ones that uh, usually appreciate over time are these government issue. Typically if you dollar cost average over time, depending on when you start, if you started in the last four years then it's not going to be that great, but if you look at a larger, longer horizon then Investing in government bullion is usually a safe bet, or government bullion that changes year after year, such as the panda, the kookaburra, the Somalian elephants. These are nice to have in, and include into your stack. If you're looking for SHTF scenarios, then these Kennedys or the American Eagles are going to be your best bet. No one really cares about pandas. Nobody really cares about kookaburras. But they do know these. If your value shoots up, a value of silver shoots up, then these, the denomination, the 50 cent denomination and the ounceage of the 50 cent coins work very well. So you don't have to give up an ounce. You can just give up a 50 cent piece which is less than an ounce. So, that being said, you have these numis, uh, semi-numis, or in this case I would consider this a uh, numismatic, which hold their premium, usually, but can fade out depending on popularity. So, this is where it gets a little risky. You can say these are more for long-term investments, but it really depends on the market because price is driven by demand and the demand has to be there in order to realize your price, your asking price. 
So I do believe these are a long-term play, these, uh, this particular two-ounce mouse. And uh, also feel like having a good core stack where that just follows spot is good to have as well. So to end it, which one do I think is a better investment? Well, I actually think they're all good investments for different time periods. It depends when you need to sell, if you need to sell, when you want to sell, or if you have to sell. All these are questions you have to ask yourself when you're building your stack so that you can have a balanced stack that you can dispose of and sell as you need to, and not when you have to. Because when you have to, you're going to take a huge loss. Someone's got to eat the premium, and then ultimately that's going to be you if you're forced to sell. So one thing that I would suggest is to keep your, your f stack fluid, sell it consistently, sell it often, so you know your market, you know the current market, you know where to sell, you know how to sell, you know how much to sell. You're constantly getting new stuff in. You're constantly selling stuff out. It doesn't have to be every day. It could be once a month, once every three months, once every six months, just so that you know where you need to go to sell when you have to sell or when you want to sell. And so when you get to the point where you are ready to sell, you have a market, you know the market, you have a reputation and you're able to sell it for the price that you want. And that's really the, the most important thing. Because when it comes to the generics, you're only going to get what it's, what, what it's worth at that time. All the others, it's going to take time to sell in order to get the value that you want out of it. So it's good to have a stack that you can kind of part out and piece out for different different events in your life. All right. All right. Keep it as a good way of saving, a good way of collecting, a good way of earning and keep your stack growing. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe.